Hi, this is Cliff, N4CCB. And what you're looking at right now is uh, Morse Runner. Morse Runner is a Windows application that simulates a contest. And it's very useful for helping to get your speed up uh, or for your Morse code you know, speed. Now, in a contest situation, most people who are using Morse code aren't using their paddles at all. They're actually using a keyboard with their logging software. So typically they've got a function key set up to call CQ and then they'll um, listen for somebody to respond and type in their call sign and then press another function key which tells the person's call sign so they know you're talking to them and then a signal report and a lot of times a serial number which is a consecutive you know, number starting with 001 and continuing on through the contest. So you give him the signal report and your serial number, then he turns around and gives you your signal report and his serial number. And you log that. And by, by pressing enter uh, in the program, you typically write that to the log and clear the fields to get ready for the next contact. At which point, you know, you can press the function key to call, press the function key to call CQ again or or maybe somebody's been standing by and as soon as you clear with the other station they'll throw out their call sign. So, But this is a fantastic program. Uh, I'm going to show you how it works and um, when you install it, and I'll, I'll put a link to the developer so you can download it, but once you install it there's really not much to it. You know, you've got your call sign here which you enter when you first run the program. It'll prompt you for that. And then you can tell it up to how many words per minute you're willing um, for some of the uh, virtual contesters to contact you at. Mine said at 30 words a minute. Now I cannot handle a QSO at 30 words a minute. And, uh, but this does help. If you put it a little higher than what you can do, it'll help stretch you and get your speed up a little better. Uh, but it's going to just send random, random people are going to be calling me and uh, they're all going to be 30 words a minute or less and, and the vast majority will be less as you'll hear. Uh, the pitch, I've got it set to 600 Hertz. That's the frequency that I typically use when I'm listening to CW. The receive bandwidth, 400 Hertz. It's like a kind of a narrow filter. And this section's kind of fun. Um, the band conditions. If you want the software to generate things that make your life harder, this is where you do it. So if you're willing to put up with some noise, you can check this checkbox. Uh, QRM is interference. Uh, you can click that. Uh, QSB is signal fading. You can check that checkbox if you're willing to put up with that. Flutter, uh, this kind of simulates a fluttering sound if the signal is uh, propagating a, near an aurora. Uh, LIDs, uh, these are people who are not very good operators. And if you're willing to put up with some shenanigans, you can check that box. Activity, I've got it set to five, which means that I'm I'm okay with up to five stations at once throwing out their call signs, and that helps me to, you know, develop my ear to try to discriminate and 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 pick out those stations and work them, as in a real contest. Here, uh, this is the button you click on to run uh, the run the little session, and I've got it set for a five minute session. Okay, so down here, this is the area where you're going to interact with a keyboard. And uh, when you press the F1 key, it's going to call CQ and your call sign and the word test, which is short for contest. And once you throw that out there, somebody may or may not respond. Usually they do, but it's a random thing. So sometimes you may have to press F1 again if nobody returned your, your call. So once I press F1 and it calls CQ, I'll hear one or more stations call signs. At that point, I have to type uh, whatever their call sign is, and when I hit when I type their call sign and hit enter or sh or tab to move over to the other fields, it will send their call sign to let them know I'm talking to them. It'll send five nine nine because in contests we always send a signal report of five nine nine, even if we have to struggle to hear the other station, and that's just because it's just easier for everybody if we all write down five nine nine. I I realize that it's not very truthful. But if, if the goal is to try to work as many stations as possible, getting a true signal report is not very high on the priority list. 
And finally, this other field here, NR, that stands for number. And that's where you're going to log the other station's serial number. Now, it's automatically going to keep track of your serial number and send that to him. Uh, after you put in their serial number, you hit enter and it'll log it, clear the fields, and get ready for the next call. Now, there are, there are function keys down here that are defined with labels. The only ones you have to deal with are F1 to call CQ, F2 if the other station doesn't understand the serial number that you sent. They might say NR question mark, meaning, you know, what's your number? And if you tell them, they may say AGN for again. At this point, you press F2 and it'll send 599 in your serial number again. Um, at the end, after you've, they've given you their serial number, signal report and serial number, and you've logged that, usually they'll give it to you one time. And when you, if you've got it, great. You put it in there in the number field and then you hit enter and it sends to you for thank you and clears the fields. Sometimes some stations will send that signal report and serial number twice in rapid succession and when that happens you know if you've already hit enter after the first time you've got other stations calling you but that station you just communicated with is still there waiting for you to acknowledge it. Otherwise he's going to try to send you the signal report and serial number again because he thinks you haven't gotten it. So if that happens and you jump the gun and you send you hit enter before he has sent his information twice uh, just press the F3 key to send thank you that ends that conversation with him and lets you start working other stations okay the last one here F5 this pressing F5 will send his call sign again so let's say that um, we hear somebody who's a VE3 something or other well, I can type in VE3 question mark and then press F5 and it'll send VE3 question mark meaning any station out there that's calling me that starts with VE3 you know come back to me give me your suffix and uh, so that's when that is used uh, so anyway that's really kinda everything you need to know I'm gonna go ahead and go through this and uh, we'll see how well I do and I'll try to talk to you while I'm doing this that may or may not work out very well but let's give it a shot Okay, I've pressed run. Now our session started. You can see the timer counting over here. I'm going to press F1 to call CQ. Okay, I typed in their call sign. I hit enter. It automatically sends their signal report and my serial number. I just got the serial report and his serial number and I hit enter. So now that's logged and I'm ready to press F1 again because there's nobody else right now trying to contact me. I did not get any of that so I think there was a PA station. I'm going to hit PA question mark. I think it was PA1W. It was. He sent me a one. Didn't get that last letter. Okay, B. No other stations calling, so I'm going to hit F1 again. Two. Nobody else calling. Press F1 again. That was a DL, not a GL.
heard a nine in. That's it, N9MKZ. The five. The MW station. I think that was DRU. Other stations calling me, so I'm going to hit F1 to call CQ again. Okay, nobody else calling. Press F1. Nobody answered, so I gotta press F1 again. I think that was an SJ station. suffix, I think. Ah, I hit it. I'm hitting escape. He's still transmitting. Okay, I'm running out of time. Okay, the timer just clicked off. You can see the five-minute timer here just ended. So, uh, at that rate, it got me at 120 QSOs per hour. Um, I didn't miss any of the serial numbers, otherwise this check column up here would show an entry that I missed it. Uh, I think I did okay, you know, I've done a little better, but uh, that's really kind of, you know, at the limits. When I start getting a bunch of stations calling me at once, I, I usually try to work the lowest pitch stations first. For some reason my ear hears the low tones better than it does the higher ones, so I kind of work them in order if I can. But uh, anyway, that gives you an idea of, of what this is all about. Uh, it, it kind of makes a game out of out of doing this and it's a good way to get your speed up so I uh, highly recommend it and I'll send you uh, uh, in the comments here I'll put the link so you can download this and give it a try let me know what you think um, it's been very helpful for me and I, and I hope it's helpful for you too uh, take care